Dealing with a narcissist can leave you emotionally drained and physically fatigued. If you're in a relationship with a narcissist, I have some information that may help you. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Laird, licensed professional counselor, and I provide information on mental health videos. Learning how to respond to a narcissist can impact your life positively by reducing stress. And if you're trying to change a narcissist, good luck with that, because they don't see a need to change especially not for you. They don't usually seek help because that's not how they see themselves as needing help. Narcissism can manifest itself in various ways. And there are two types of narcissists, grandiose and vulnerable. The grandiose narcissist is highly confident, attention-seeking, and self-assured. In contrast, the vulnerable narcissists are passive-aggressive and have low self-esteem. If you're in a relationship with a narcissist, here are a few steps that may help you. Number one, educate yourself. Do your research. Find out more about narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder. Knowing the narcissist's strengths and weakness can help you better understand them. Recognizing the difference between the two types of narcissism will help you protect yourself from their manipulative behaviors. Number two, create boundaries. Set clear boundaries. You must speak up for yourself. If you need something, be clear and concise. It's essential to set and maintain boundaries about any unacceptable behaviors. You must outline what you will and will not accept in your relationship with this individual. And it may be difficult sometimes, but you must stand up for yourself and not make idle threats or ultimatums. It may not be easy because an individual with narcissistic personality disorder is a habitual boundary crosser, but you can do this so set clear boundaries and stand your ground. Number three, be careful what you say. Because narcissists are sensitive to criticism, you must be careful how you speak to them. Narcissists don't take constructive criticism well. Try to make comments in a careful, positive way. Calling them out can be a trigger for their anger. In the case that you need to give negative feedback, try to frame it in a compliment. Narcissists do not like to be viewed in a negative light, so this allows them to adjust their behavior. Don't argue with them or explain yourself because they don't care about what you have to say. Number four, be aware of gaslighting behaviors. Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse that makes the victim question reality. Narcissists gaslight victims to distort their reality and make them question their memory. This form of narcissist abuse may be unnoticeable initially, but can lead to long-lasting consequences. A narcissist may say, you're paranoid, overreacting, or you have memory issues. I didn't say that. Regardless of what they say, remember that your feelings are valid. You must recognize the signs of manipulation. Number five, create a support system. Identify a group of people and try to build healthy relationships and a network of people that will support you. There is wisdom in the counsel of many. Now, spend more time together with family and become active in your community if you have a community of involvement. All humans need connections to their community. See, the lion usually goes after the gazelle that separates from the pack. And if you isolate yourself from family and friends, this gives the abuser strength and control. Isolation can also become a risk factor for depression and lack of support can keep you from leaving a toxic relationship. Prioritize your relationship with those who support you and make you feel safe. Number six, know thyself and never lose sight of who you are. Make self-care a priority by working on your physical, emotional, and mental health. Create a routine that involves regular exercise, a healthy diet, six to eight hours of sleep if you can, deep breathing and relaxation techniques. Join a yoga class, a fitness class, or get that long overdue massage. Number seven, if all else fails, know when to get out of the relationship. Narcissists are good at manipulation and deception. They may use methods like gaslighting and projection to try to alter your reality and gain control. If you begin to feel confused or lost, it may be time to exit the relationship because you know when things are not right in the relationship and you know when someone is mistreating you. Number eight, seek professional help. You may benefit from talking to a licensed mental health professional and recognize that a narcissistic person may need professional help because something is wrong with them. 
they have a mental disorder that affects the way they think and feel and how they treat people. Therapy won't cure your partner's narcissism, but it may help you understand the seriousness of what and who you're involved with. A counselor can help you develop effective coping strategies, provide emotional support, and help you understand the dynamics of your relationship better. Dealing with a narcissistic person can be taxing and mentally exhausting. Learning how to deal with a narcissist can impact you positively by reducing stressors. Start by educating yourself and learning the signs and behaviors that can help you understand why setting firm, clear boundaries is essential to help you navigate your relationship. Now, this will give you wisdom and help you decide whether to stay or remove yourself from a potentially harmful relationship or situation. Trying to fix them will cause more harm than good, so leave that to the professionals. You will never be able to fix a narcissistic person. Remember that you're in control of your life and you can only fix yourself. When dealing with an individual with narcissistic characteristics, create clear boundaries. Be careful what you say to them. Be mindful of their gaslighting tactics. Create a support system. Know thyself and never lose sight of who you are and know when to get out of the relationship and go and seek professional help. After being involved with a narcissist, you'll need time to heal. So check out my videos on trauma bonding. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button so my channel can grow. Give me a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit. That's all I have for now. Thank you again for checking out my video. And remember, the more you know, the more you grow. Life is what you make it. Have a blessed life. Bam.